मेरे प्यारे देशवासियों पूरा विश्व जलवायु परिवर्तन से चिंतित है क्लाइमेट चेंज ग्लोबल वार्मिंग डगर डगर पर उसकी चर्चा भी है चिंता भी है और हर काम को करने से पहले एक मानक के रूप में इसको स्वीकृति मिलती जा रही है पृथ्वी का तापमान अब बढ़ना नहीं चाहिए ये हर किसी की जिम्मेवारी भी है चिंता भी है और तापमान से बचने का एक सबसे पहला रास्ता है ऊर्जा की बचत एनर्जी कंजर्वेशन यस वाइल वी सीक अ लॉन्ग टर्म सोल्यूशन फॉर आर ग्रोइंग एनर्जी डिमांड इट इज ऑल्सो वाइटल टू एडजस्ट क्लाइमेट चेंज to limit emissions to conserve energy using all available tools and best behaviors currently at our disposal and one such area is the energy consumption in india's buildings india is currently going through rapid urbanization this would translate into more number of buildings and larger infrastructure coming into existence building already account for almost 30% of the india's electricity consumption Two thirds of the buildings that would be existing by the year 2030 are yet to be built. India could potentially save 42 billion dollars each year just by improving the energy efficiency level in the building sector. And for improving energy efficiency in buildings, many researchers and the government have devoted themselves to craft a genuinely collective partnership that balances responsibilities and capabilities with aspirations and needs. and the result of their hard work is the ECPC the energy conservation building code the energy conservation building code launched by the ministry of powers bureau of energy efficiency has the potential to transform the way buildings are constructed and to unleash significant energy savings building more efficient buildings is also a central strategy to achieve india's climate target to reduce emissions intensity by 33 to 35% from 2005 levels by the year 2030 as part of the paris agreement ecbc has five main components i would say that basically describe how we can save energy in a building so if you see in building envelope is one aspect where we can improve the performance of envelope and save energy then lighting is another important component we have heating ventilation and air conditioning as the third component then comes hot water and electrical systems so these are the five components on which requirements are given in ecbc how to make each of them efficient to give an overview of the process from a real estate developer's perspective in seven simple steps First, preparing the designs in consultation with architect and MEP consultant. Two, submitting the designs to third-party assessor and take ECBC compliance certificate. Three, applying for building construction approval through online system. Four, here the building committee, after verifying, gives you the approval. Five, construction phase begins. Municipal corporation. may conduct random inspections during construction 6 after construction developer submits the data materials used certificates etc to different third party assessors for physical inspection tpa issues building construction ecbc compliance verification certificate after inspection 7 finally municipal corporation issues building occupancy certificate Building efficiency is crucial in India's sustainable growth in the near future. ECBC will help the broader market move towards higher adaptation of efficiency measures at this critical juncture in the expansion of Indian cities. Through ECBC, state governments can motivate more green buildings and also monitor and verify that buildings are locking in energy savings. Energy efficiency is a renewable resource in the sense that if you deploy all of the efficiency that you thought was there, you'll find that it renews itself. Energy efficiency is often referred to as picking the low-hanging fruit. But the interesting thing we've learned in regions where they've tried to pick all that fruit is as soon as you pick it, it grows back. Implement ECBC on the lines of Hyderabad model 
save energy, bring in energy security for our cities and make our cities smart and livable. Energy Conservation Building Code Making India energy efficient.